Hello everyone, welcome to another video, and today we are going to be playing Field Trip Z. This is a relatively new game, but it has a lot of players. I've played before and I've gotten a few badges, and today we're going to try to get the Anto ending. Is that how you say Anto? I don't even know. So... Let's join a bus. And when you join the bus, you can walk around freely. And here we go. Now, I'd say this game is pretty good, pretty easy. Uh, the zombies are pretty easy to kill, and yeah, as long as you know the basics of Roblox, you should be able to play this game with ease. It also has a pretty easy obby as well. Okay, so here we are. As you can see, I put on my zombie fighting outfit. You know, I have a little bit of a sniper just in case we need to snipe some zomboys. And we're gonna start by doing the janitor quest because we want the Anto ending. Which at first I thought, well, isn't it just gonna be like regular janitor's quest? But Apparently, when you do the janitor's quest, you also get the antidote for the antidote ending, which I didn't know, so I'm redoing it, that way I can get the antidote. So as you can see here, we're going to find the blue key. It has several different spawn locations, but so far I've um, only found it in that locker right there, but I've only done, <clears throat> I've only done this quest about one time. Which doesn't include this time. So we could open up the cafeteria, get the love letter from the cafeteria lady, and deliver it to the principal. But you could let the storyline of the lunch lady play while you're going to do it. 18 seconds, let's go do this real quick. Come on, come on, come on. Class. Okay, and it should deliver you, or, um, deliver. teleport you to class, anyway. Ooh. Made it just in time. And you do have an assigned seat. Now you can check all the red lockers, and you can get some healing items. Which will really help when it comes to the zombies. Because even though they're really easy to kill, they also take a lot of damage. Welcome to your first day of high school. So we're basically barely high school students then. We're pretty much middle schoolers. Wow. Okay. The world ended when I went to middle school. Or high school. On my first day. Please report to the principal's office. I wonder what they're going to be talking about in the principal's office. Now, uh, something cool that I haven't seen any YouTuber mention yet is about how you see police cars and, like, military trucks going towards the city when you're doing, like, the bully quest, or, you know, in the morning time before you get to class. So, at this part, your assigned seat is very important, because if you're not in it, I believe you lose health. I don't know how he already lost some health, but, you know, it's whatever. I'm gonna keep it a secret, because I ain't no snitch, and it's whatever. You don't get in trouble for it, it's best to just keep it a secret. Because <clears throat> all it's gonna do is just 
have you avoid drama in the future and we don't have time for drama, there's um, the apocalypse going on. Due to some unseen circumstances, we're going to announce the early. Alright, so we could go now. And we do actually have to go to the cafeteria, but since this period is a little. Excuse me. Um. A little longer. Could search these lockers and get med kits, donuts, and bandages, which will really be really helpful for health later. Now that we've gotten that, we can move on to donut. Thank you. I mean, not donut burger. Man, I could really go for a donut right now. Not the last. And we're going to give this burger to the janitor, and he's going to give us a key that will unlock the bathroom. And yes, I already did the bully quest. Thank you for that key. Open up the bathroom. Get the antidote. And as far as I know, there's nothing in the bathroom. So now that we have the antidote, we will get the antidote ending. And I believe we've checked all the red lockers, which is all the lockers we've checked. So we're going to get back to class. I believe it'll teleport you back, but either way, it's best to be here. Now, I'm assuming how this story goes is, as far as we know, it's just going to be regular day in school. But the zombie apocalypse actually started, like, I don't know days ago and it's just hitting the city so I'll show you when we leave the classroom once again here but right outside the classroom and these windows over there um before class you'll see that there's army trucks going to the um the city which is a really cool thing that I don't think many people have noticed or we can get up out of our seats now. As you can see, it's raining outside and the zombies have reached the school. And as far as I know, the school is about right outside the city, so we can assume that the city has gone overrun. And those army trucks didn't do anything. Well, I'm sure they did come to the side. So as you can see, there's a zombie out there. The power goes out. The zombies hit the power station, I'm getting guessing and there will be zombies outside of the door so as you can see here when you start to hear the knocks on the door or when the teacher goes to go check the door it's best to do that you be ready up here because not only will they attack the teacher but they will come and attack you and i think the animations for this are really cool um, you can see the teacher getting eaten, which, um, you know, whatever. As you can see here, people are losing health from the zombies, which go to attack you, but luckily, they cannot come up here. And someone will randomly will be able to select the answer if they want to be the bully or not. They would just be friendly and agree that it was a zombie, which I don't think that has anything to do with the story as far as I know. Screwdriver, you could hear the zombies down there, which I also think is really cool. The school is like a whole map in itself, which is awesome. So, of course, we have to break this floor tile, that way we get down to the principal. 
you don't really have to keep on jumping, but you know, everyone knows they have to break this floor tile at this point. There we go. Now we're in the principal's office. Which, it seems like the principal had that thing down so he couldn't see all the zombies marching in, I'm guessing. I mean, usually the school is like, closed and locked, so I don't really know how the zombies would have gotten in, but it's whatever. Principal doesn't believe you, you know, classic case of that. We're gonna walk out of the room. The janitor and the bully is gone. And you really don't see anything outside, but these windows over here is where you're gonna see before class. You'll see the army trucks and the police cars rolling down there. And I think that's just really cool. I don't know. It's just, I haven't seen all the people say something about that, that's all. Principal will fight off the zombie, but that was only one zombie. Um, I don't think he's ha he has to fight a lot of zombies in this, but he does get scratched, so... <clears throat> doesn't matter if you're bitten or scratched. You know, there's tons of types of zombies, but some zombies it'll be... It doesn't matter if you get bitten, scratched, if you get their blood on them, you turn, and I'm guessing that's what these kind of zombies are. So, he got scratched, and he will, well, turn. I don't think that's really much of a spoiler, as everyone can assume that he's gotten scratched, and he'll turn. But if that was a spoiler for you, sorry. Breaking news. I really like how they animated this. Really nice. Just like the movies. Oh, there's Trump. Staying indoors and defend your family's if necessary. We're gonna call the police. I just saw all the police going towards the city. But I think this is a really cool concept because if the principal hadn't called the police or as we'll see later, the policeman that shows up, then that policeman could have been dead in the city by now. So I think that's a really cool concept as well. Now we're gonna go to the supply closet, which if you didn't have time to explore the school, the supply closet is right down here. And I'm going to get a baseball bat. Does, I don't think it makes a difference what you get as long as you get it. There's not really a bunch of supplies around here. I mean, I don't know a school that would just have bats and crowbars in the supply closet. I mean, shoot, this is barely a closet. This is bigger than my room. Four hours? Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm a little hungry. But I love the blue atmosphere. It's very nice. Where is the principal? It's been four hours. And we hear a bunch of zombie noises outside, I'm assuming. So this is when you gotta get your weapon ready. Get ready to, you know, bash some zomboy head in. And by that I mean, we're gonna kill the principal. What's that? The principal.
that atmosphere music is like the best. Excuse me, sir. You have no. It's, it's very rude of you to hit me like that. You know. Um, I think he needs to beat some manners into you. Thank you very much. <clears throat> I think we have lost a little bit of health, so I'm going to see the donut. The teacher! Stupid Karen, being a Karen self. I don't think she deserves to die though. She was a nice Karen, as far as I know. She seemed like a good teacher. <laughs> Karen! Anyway, this is the police officer I was talking about, and I think it's really cool that maybe if we hadn't called the police, Donut Dave be like dead in the city right now. But Donut Dave went out of his way to come down to the school to come save some people. Not realizing that the city is not going to make it. I also think it's cool that the school has its own entire map instead of just having to teleport different places every next scene. Uh, newsflash, can't grab any supplies because first of all there's no supplies in the supply closet besides bats and crowbars and there's a zombie force coming, that too. So get your baseball bat out because there will be zombies outside or on um, I mean like you know, up here. As you can see, they're really easy to kill. But the hard part is gonna be this door, because for some reason it takes like way too long to open. And Donut Dave isn't gonna do anything about it, but he's just... Sorry, Donut Dave, I said it. Okay, go. Oof, they were right behind us. Click up here to the roof. And this obby right here. Um, it's a pretty easy obby. I mean I can do it. I haven't tested this out on mobile, but just be aware that if you probably fall you will die. And if you don't die, you'll probably get eaten by zombies. So there's that. Make it over the fence to the car. And as we can see here, the zombies are waiting. Trying to get out the fence. But they can't. I wouldn't suggest trying to kill the zombies like while you're outside the fence because they can hit you through the fence and I saw someone die from that so it's not really smart to do. Alright. Can't go. There's too much rubble. We can't go any further. I would get this pistol, but it's five robux and I'm cheap. Who could it be? <coughs> Don't shoot at it, blind you with a spear gun. It's just dumpster diver, damn. What are you doing near my safety dumpster? Ain't you fella seen them zombies out there? Roger, Snorri Sturgeon. We're fully aware of the crisis. It's getting nighttime and we're looking for a safe zone. Got me a sturdy shelter, but we ain't got no supply. There's a block thing go down the road. Head on over there and bring us back some supplies. 
that seems horrifically dangerous. Regardless, we do need supplies. Sweet mama, there's a whole lot of zombies out there. <laughs> don't walk too close to the zombies. AKA, don't get caught within that red line. I think the animation for these is really cool. I like that. Here's the army trucks that we saw trying to get to the city. Or I guess they got to the city, but they didn't really make it too far. Oh boy. We made it. Now you can get the blood samples for the scientists. I don't really know what it's going to do, but if there's a really hard obvious involved. I saw Dennis Daly do it, and he's really good at obbies, but I'm not, so I'm not going to try to do that obby, because <laughs> I'm probably going to die. Probably not. Thank you. Eep, what am I doing? I collect items on the shelves, uh, if it will let me click them. I don't think anyone's clicking these items. Oh. Everyone get back. Go, go, go. Excuse you. Zombies are really easy to kill, so it's best if you just kill them now. They will keep on following you. Oh, here we go. Okay. Uh-oh, a horde of zombies. And the zombies can climb up as far as I know, so it's best to just hurry on up here. I need to find a safe way down. Oh, she's dead. Careful with the fire, everyone. Uh oh, I'm not the only one left, am I? I think that other girl died, but I thought you had another life. Maybe not. Ooh, look at that. This is a really cool scene. I really do like this.
Okay. So now you have the choice to go in the sewers or we go to um safety. Now safety with Donut Dave is the right way to go. But I want the antidote ending since I get one at this time to get the antidote. So we're gonna go with dumpster diver Dave. And I don't know how to spell. So we're gonna follow Dumpster Diver Dan. Guys. Well. And yes, there's a time travel adventure thing right here. Dumpster Diver Dan, I want to stay with you. <gasps> Can't believe they did that. Oh no, it can't be. Everyone's already dead. Oh no. Wow, the safe zone wasn't really much of a safe zone. It was just some random part in the city. Oh well. Yeah, we're here, but everyone's dead. Oh my goodness, the princess, the principal zombie is back. It looks like he's injected with something. Look at this janitor. We could use it to shock him. Supposed to like survive, we don't do anything except survive. I guess. Activated using the on power switch, attack him while he's stunned. I wonder if it was the principal that took out the safety base. Ow. I'm low. No. Get him! Oh my gosh, I'm the only one who's trying to beat the principal! Come on now! Come on, Donut Dave, come on, come on. Ow. Oh.
Yes. Gosh, I feel like I was the only one in that fight. Come on now. Grab that flare. Where? Oh, okay, whatever. A helicopter. Orders to evacuate the city. Yeah, no joke. The city's dead. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> the whole world is overrun. Oh no. There's only a few safe places left. I guess we're not at high school students anymore. Are we supposed to be like that? Oh my god. <laughs> Return to lobby. The end. Congratulations. You completed the helicopter escape ending. One at the ending. <laughs> okay, everyone. Well, that was an excellent video. Wow, 31 minutes is a long time. I'm going to return to lobby so we could do the outro. And we're back. So, everyone, that was a super fun video. As you can see, we got the good ending. You could also get the good ending if you go into sewers, but as long only if you have the antidote. If you go into sewers and you don't have the antidote, you will get turned into a zombie. <laughs> Which is part of the three ending. So if you want me to do another ending like this, please let me know. I would love to do it for you. And until then, I'll see you next time. Goodbye!